Hey friends, it's me, your pal Kelly Zonikas, and welcome to episode number 47 of It's Hot. Oh, I'm a little red, I'm a little shiny. It's just, it's hot in Toronto today, guys. Really hot, but it's also a good day. I mean, it's sunny, it's nice. I've got a friend joining me today, a dear friend. I'm so excited for this bake. And we're baking something on the show today that is kind of surprising we haven't done yet, considering it's a baking show. Cupcakes! Haven't, haven't made them on this show. And I have not made this recipe before. We're doing chocolate butterfly cupcakes from my fave cook, visualize the perfect plate. Still don't know who the author is. It's not in the book. Um, but the cupcakes we're making may or may not look like this by the end. We'll see. I have no idea. Um, but it's going to be fun. My guest today is, as I say, a dear friend, beautiful artist, beautiful human, just a good, good soul. Shayna Johnson is on the show today, and her family might be making an appearance for the taste test. We'll see. Um, Shayna and I have been friends as of this week. 25 years. We met as pen pals, so we're probably going to go through some of our letters, <laughs> which I think we have to. I mean, come on. Um, but yeah, we met as pen pals 25 years ago this week. I got her first letter, and she's a dear friend, someone I've traveled with. Um, oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be good, even though I am schwetzing like crazy right now. Holy moly. Um, and on the show today, we are offering some love, offering some attention, to the good folks at the Gord Downey and Channy Wenjack Fund. So if you can offer them some support today, that would be amazing. They're doing this great service to all Canadians to bond, uh, to bond us, uh, those of us who are Indigenous and non-Indigenous, and have some good conversations and learn. I can't think of anything better. Guys, it's going to be fine. It's hot in Toronto. It's hot in Texas where Shana is. We're just going to sweat it out. <laughs> Um, oh, these are fun stamps. These are some Audrey Hepburn stamps from 2004. Oh, fun. You always have tons of stickers on your stuff. I love it. Like, these have Pooh Bear, and this has, like, the guy from Animaniacs, and we got yeah. Snoopy and the Care Bears. Like, there are stickers on every. Mini, like you have stickers on most envelopes. It's awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. It is. Oh. Oh, hey, look what you sent me. Do you remember this? <gasps> that was my bird. Yeah. That's so cool. this was I. Uh, Adam and Shana invite you to come see uh, our <laughs> work and many other artists. Is it? Herons? Yeah. Yeah. It was at the Art Center in Port Aransas. Yeah. That's so cool. All right, friends. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Okay. Here's what you're going to need for these cupcakes today. You will need. Now, the recipe says margarine for the cupcake, butter for the buttercream. We are going all out. We're just using butter. Do not get us started about margarine. Just don't. Um, all purpose baking flour is what you will need sifted with baking powder. So you're just going to put flour in a bowl, baking powder in a bowl, take a fork, mix it up. You sift it together. Or you can use one of those cool machines. You know. um, yeah. Uh, two extra large eggs. In my case, I just have large eggs. So I'm going to use four large eggs for this. Uh, you will need unsweetened cocoa powder. All cocoa powder is unsweetened. I don't know why they bother saying that in the in the ingredients. Um, so if you've got cocoa powder in your in your cupboard, you're good. Um, you will also need semi-sweet dark chocolate, uh, or you can use milk. I mean, use whatever chocolate you want. Um, I'm using a product by Baker's 
Baker's Baking Chocolate. And uh, one ounce of chocolate is four squares. So you don't need too much. Um, for the buttercream, it is a lemon buttercream. So ideally, use an actual lemon because you want to get the rind too. But if you only have lemon extract, I mean, go ahead, use that, no problem. You will also need confectioner's sugar, which also goes by the name uh, powdered sugar, which also goes by the name icing sugar, which also goes by the name uh, caster sugar. Yeah, it's effectively the P. Diddy of sugars. And uh, yeah, so that and butter and the lemon, that's all you need. Let's, let's get started. Maybe put on the AC first for a second. going so I can double boil my chocolate so it doesn't get funky in the microwave. I'm doing the microwave thing because I I've come to enjoy um but you've got to be you're right it can get super funky you have to be very careful when you microwave chocolate. It gets a little grainy like yeah. it, it sometimes separates or something like yeah. the outside will be the outside will be a little crusty and the inside's perfectly melty. That can totally happen. So what I do is I do it in like little increments. I'll do like 15 seconds, give it a stir. Okay. So it's like the shorter time span, the better. But so I'll do that while I'm here. How was the birthday party yesterday? Well, it was quiet because we're not really partying right now. Yes. Um, <laughs> we, had our, we had our neighbors over because that's who's been taking care of the kids during the week so I can go to work. Yeah. And then... Um, my boss and very good friend Rose Kimiko was here and she delivered Jocelyn. She was there when she entered the world and her son Preston were here. So all the kids were playing in the pool. So they were quite happy. That is awesome. And that cake you but made. Everyone's in a big chlorinated bath together, you know, like they're very <laughs> sterile. It's a very, pools are a very sterile environment right now. Oh my gosh. My building has a pool. The apartment I live in has one. But because it's a community pool and it's indoors, no dice. So I could possibly go to the splash pad across the street. But as a woman, okay. uh, as a woman with no kids and a woman of a certain age, I feel like I'd look like a giant creepo if I was hanging out at a splash pad. No, I think you just need one of those fun little like uh, dive hats with like the cute flowers or something on it and like some big crazy shades and then just be your own special self at the splash pad. <laughs> possibly. Or as I was saying to a friend, I turn my bathtub into my own splash pad. Okay. Right, which right. sounds sad. Even when I say it, it sounds like really sad. I have a client whose tub used to fill from the ceiling. Like that's how they put it on. They used to fill from the ceiling, so it would look like so you could shower underneath it as it was filling up. Like it's very fancy, very fancy. I got to show you. I found this because um, of course this is like a big. This is an important week for us. We've been friends for 25 years. I found your envelope. I found the whole stack. Did you, I sent you? I don't know if I sent you the picture. I just took a picture of them. Oh, um, my gosh. <laughs> this is your first one with these fun envelopes. Oh, my God. This was your first one to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the cool, yeah. I. That was a good idea of doing the envelope that way, I have to say. That's why oh. I had a fun one because I found, like, all of them together. You tape the paper to the magazine pages so it's thicker. Did I? Oh, I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wild. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've got some of yours and here. Your, hand, your handwriting is still the most like beautiful, perfect, like printed script I've ever seen. Like it hasn't changed. Sugar. Yeah, so in the bowl, we need to add, you. Got, now I went with butter. The recipe calls for margarine, but I don't have margarine, so. I don't do margarine. Yeah. I try not to. It's, um, I don't know. There's something wrong with margarine, in my opinion. Well, I may be wrong on this, but is it not a derivative of plastic? I think I read it's that. Are we supposed to fatten turkeys? 
And I think it ended up killing the turkeys because it is like molecularly close to plastic. Um, and so they, these investors had to figure out how to recoup their investment and they marketed it as a butter alternative. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the plethora of useless knowledge that I have in my brain. Um, I do enjoy random facts. Flies, do, flies don't eat it. So if, if a fly won't eat it, maybe you shouldn't either because they eat poop. You know? Yeah. There's, there's a good tip. <laughs> so what can you do? Well, if it won't eat margarine but it eats poop, maybe you shouldn't either. Like... That might, be a good, that might be a good rule of thumb. I think it's a good rule. For any kind of edible, <laughs> edible nonsense, like I'm trying to figure out this camera thing. Oh, okay. All right, so, yeah, I'm busting out my lovely KitchenAid, two extra large eggs. It just said to put everything in the bowl, right? Yeah, you've got to do everything. So we're doing, uh, in our case, <laughs> butter. Um, I don't have extra large eggs. I just had large, so I'm going to go with four eggs for mine. Okay. And then we're putting in the flour. I have farm fresh eggs, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, nice. It didn't say to cream my butter and sugar first, which I usually do. Yes, that the butter and sugar is going to go for the buttercream, which we'll do after it's baked. No, I mean, I the recipe. It just says mix it all together. It does, yeah. Yeah, I know. We're going to be fine. I know it'll be fine. It's just usually like all recipes, they cream the butter and the sugar first, and then you add everything else. Yeah, you're very right. So we're finding a new way to do this. I want to follow the recipe and just put it all in here. Yeah, you go ahead. You're a little ahead of me. I'm just taking my time. I can't deal with this heat. I'm just moving yeah. very slowly. <laughs> I can understand. So let's do, I'll do like the three biggest large eggs that I have. Yeah. And all this confectioner sugar. Right there. And then the cocoa. All right. Do you find you say ingredients out loud as you're adding them? I'm doing that more as I get older. <laughs> it just depends. If I'm doing it by myself, not so much. Um, with the kids, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I tend to. I live alone, though, so I talk to myself a lot. Okay, so everything is in the mixing bowl. Yeah, I'm going to sift this all with my lovely old-fashioned sifter. Oh, nice. I used to have one of those. I did, um, oh, and then we're beating in the melted chocolate after it's mixed, right? I'm going to set this up. Flour, baking powder, large eggs, two tablespoons, unsweet cocoa. Yeah. I don't know why you call it unsweetened cocoa powder because I have ne I have yet to find sweetened. I've never even looked for sweetened. I, I yeah, it's, it's, it's not a thing. I don't know. I don't know what it would be sweetened with. Like, would they be maybe like a hot cocoa mix? Would that be sweetened cocoa powder? I don't know. Hang here. We're mixing. Oh, oh. and uh, you got a dog. Yukon. We got Yukon. Yeah. We're still have him. She's in town. Um. This is cool. Oh, and this is funny, appropriate for today. You ended the letter with, I'm looking forward to doing some baking. <laughs> now I'm going to beat in my melted cocoa. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. All right. Going around the bowl and just making sure we've got the most... <laughs> Incorporated. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. It almost looks like a like a chocolate mousse. It's kind of got like yeah. a nice moussey texture. Sweet. 
Yeah. Right. And then the uh, patriotic cupcake holders. Is that fun? Nice. Right. What, uh, what were some of the things Joss wanted for her birthday? <laughs> she got some stuff. Um, some of what she wants isn't really viable. <laughs> Um, my nephew Cohen is turning four in a couple of weeks and he's like he's a guy he's he's you're four going on like 16. <laughs> Aww. loves his cars all right so now what we're doing is we're spooning the mixture into the liner and uh the recipe says about three quarters full okay so January 10th, 1998. Oh. How long? That was so long ago already. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's just crazy to think about. <laughs> Hello. I, how are you doing? I've just sent you a letter seeing that I hadn't written in ages, but now it is a get. It, I, but I just got a letter from you. Oh my. This weekend I'm staying with my parents. My mom and I just want to to be my place to clean, though, goodness, I love my apartment. But some days I just miss my parents. Aw, I lived, uh, was, they, was the return address from Oriole Gardens? It was from Oriole Gardens. That is about 10 minutes of a walk from where I live now. Yeah. How crazy is that that you came around all the way? <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> rendering. Well, I was planning on doing my rendering readings today, but I can do that tomorrow because I have Mondays off. The problem, though, is Tuesdays, my first class is at 7.30 a.m. So I guess I can forget about going out on Monday nights. But last Monday, I went to a, park, a party for alt comedy, a comedy show that was held every week down at the Rivola. Oh at the Rivoli. Right. Yeah. Rivoli. Rivoli. Yeah. Paul. Oh. Well, everyone was there and the place was completely packed. So it turned out to be a wonderful party. This one guy, a comedian named Harry Dupe, was there. And I have to tell you what happened. Harry is famous here in Canada as a writer in stand up. And last summer, James introduced me to him one night at Second City. Well, every time after that, whenever I saw Harry, he never would recall meeting me. Strange. <laughs> I was so afraid that that story was going to go in a different direction. <laughs> All right, guys. So cupcakes are done. They've been in the oven now for about 20 minutes. I had to do a little bit extra because I went when I went to stick the knife in, it wasn't a clean uh, pull. So let's see. These look pretty damn good. I'd like them to be a little higher, but let's see if they have baked fully. But these look pretty, they smell killer. So good. All right, let's get a knife. All right, so what you want is when you insert, let's just pan this over here. So when we're inserting, you want a clean pull, just like that. So it looks like 20 minutes was just right for me. We'll scooch that back up there. Um, so what we're gonna do is let these cool. Gonna give it a few minutes. I'm gonna stick it in front of the air conditioner, which you might be able to hear right now. And uh, then Shana and I are going to get to icing and decorating and the best part, eating the cupcakes. I made a boo-boo. I screwed up. Uh -oh. Yeah, you know what I did? I added the uh, the confectioner sugar to the batter. Okay. We're supposed to do that. <laughs> I added the granular sugar, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Yours has two cups of confectionery sugar in it. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, these will uh, be uh an offering of diabetes, I guess. <laughs> um, I bet the powdered sugar mixed nicely, though. 
Did you do twice as much butter then? No, I was good on that. I was good on my butter. Um, but I realized in the book, even though you do add everything to the bowl, you add everything but the confectioner sugar. Whatever. Okay. It'll be fine. It's fine. That's, that's uh, why we invented insulin, right? <laughs> have it we have it um and see i used all my confectionery sugar yesterday oh. when i made buttercream but i have this lovely packet of chocolate stuff that just needs more butter and water okay well there we go I so i was just like okay we did buttercream yesterday so i'm just gonna do a chocolate frosting for today because i am out of confectionery sugar <laughs> and that's not something i really want to food process right now is all my regular sugar into confectionery sugar. <laughs> Even though you can, I don't know if you've ever had to make confectionery sugar. No, I haven't. Regular sugar in a food processor will turn it into powder. You are right. I do remember hearing, we, I had an episode of the show where a guest didn't have this and had that and didn't powder, didn't grind it. Um, but you're right. That's how you make it. Yeah, that's how you make it. And to like make it food stable, they add cornstarch to the bag, which is why you can never use confectionery sugar to make hummingbird food because of the cornstarch in it. Okay. Okay. Nice. That's one cake I've never made. I've had, but I've I've not baked it. So that's something maybe to try. Indeed. Oh man, what's the temperature like for you guys today? Um. Outside, it says 99.7, but that, yeah. is not, that is not humidity. That is just straight temperature. Yeah, straight temperature for us today. Let me check the phone. Uh, we are at uh, double it and at 30, so we're at 91 straight temperature. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's how you it's from surprising how hot you all get, because I don't think of Toronto being... That's hot because I, I, Maine and Vermont and Connecticut don't get that warm. So I know. I think it's where we're positioned because Toronto is also in Tornado Alley. And I don't right, think, I don't think don't folks really that. think of that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're in Tornado Alley, too. So it's great. <laughs> it's great. You get the best of everything. <laughs> get all the seasons. <laughs> Okay. Adam just told me the heat index is 109 outside. Yeah, let me check what the heat index is for us. Um, so I probably could go probably try to cook an egg on the driveway it, or a black surface outside, and it probably would cook in a couple minutes. So um, we don't have a humid X, like it, it's just straight 91. Um, but yesterday we were at about 110. Well, yeah. We love walk. it when you walk outside and you feel like you need another shower already. <laughs> exactly. It's it's a bit much. All right, where did I put my grater? Here we go. Alrighty. So we first met at your like in person. We first met at your wedding. I remember yeah. walking to the little like motel room and like saying hi for the first time. Um, yeah. That was. That was such a wild, ex the fact that over time we never talked on the phone, I didn't know what your voice sounded like, I didn't know how to pronounce your name properly. <laughs> oh, that's, just, that's, I don't think I was allowed to make phone calls um, to Canada while living at home, <laughs> probably. I mean, and I guess I could have at college, but I don't know, because I still have a phone, like a cell phone through college, so. Yeah, yeah, no, we just, we, yeah, it was the first time I heard your voice. Like it was, yeah. it was so cool. <laughs> that was a good time. I was and so sad to come back early from that. Yeah. How long? How long has it been now? Wedding? How long ago was that? Eight years. It'll be eight years in October. Nice. <laughs> So we need another trip. We need another trip again when we can we start do. going places. Yeah, we've done uh, we've done what New Orleans. We've been to Vegas. Um, I would love to go to like South Carolina or Tennessee because I've never been there. 
Or That'd be cool. Texas, because Texas is so big. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a yeah. country. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, Canada's gigantic, so there's many parts oh, of Canada that I've never been to that we should go to, too. <laughs> I mean, we could go to the other side and go to, like, Vancouver or BC or something. Yeah, or Why? Newfoundland. I've never been to Newfoundland. I have a friend who lives there. And we could go visit. Yes, because off of the coast of Newfoundland, and I only discovered this um, watching an Anthony Bourdain episode of Parts Unknown, uh, there is an island off of Newfoundland that belongs to France. So we could effectively go to France for like an afternoon if we wanted. That would be lovely. <laughs> All right. So are you adding lemon to your buttercream or? No, I'm just going to do the straight chocolate. It calls okay. for butter, chocolate powder, which is chocolate powder and confectionery sugar put together and water. So that is what I am doing. Yeah. I'm not going to doctor it up anything more than that, yeah. except sure. to some of it at the end. I might add peanut butter. So we do some peanut butter and chocolate. And bacon, just throw in a banana, you've got an Elvis cupcake. See? We can make it Elvis. <laughs> so the bacon are only in three, and I'm not going to, I don't know about the peanut butter icing on them. I'll, I'll see how that goes. Um, I'm flying lemon everywhere here. I don't know what, I'm blaming it on heat. Everything I'm doing wrong today, I'm blaming on the heat. Yeah, it just makes you a little scattered. Yeah. It does. I gotta show you. This looks like airy, like a cloud. This is great. That is lovely. This is, and it smells so good. Mm, okay. I'm gonna do a little bit more zest. I'm excited. I'm nervous about making the butterfly. But I'm excited. <laughs> I've got my cupcakes here. So yeah, mine are pretty flat, but I still think I can make the the butterfly. Happen. I think I'll you just, can. Yeah. Like if you do like a little angular divot. Yeah, like pop it out. Where, if you see where the edge of the cupcake is, I'm just gonna take that right off and then um put that in. Now. All right. How did you did I write you first or did you write me first? Did you get I my know. Because I was reading the letter that you showed a picture of. Yeah. With the, and it says, hi, Kelly. And it says, my name is. And then it went off the page. And then it says, I got your name from A. And I was like, I bet it said friendship book right there. Like. Hey. Gosh. July 1995. Holy yes. moly. <laughs> um, you. Oh, it's so funny. It says, I got your name from an FB, which doesn't mean Facebook, obviously. It meant friendship oh, book. It means friendship book. <laughs> which was a little book that would go around with pen pal letters that had an address. Remember, and those things were like just piece of, pe yep. people's either return address label or a little piece of paper that they had taped in. And then yeah. you sent them to like six people and you yep. chose like whoever of those listing that you want, but you always added your name to yep. the end. Yep. Whoever started the whole pen pal thing, they've probably been going on for, you know, hundreds of years previously. Like, And sometimes there would be like a little quiz. You'd write down like your favorite pop band or whatever. Yeah. But you've got here, um, I think friends are probably the most important thing in the world. I still feel that way. <laughs> and, and I was the first time you wrote to somebody in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> So what I'm doing, I'm just layering my buttercream on top of the cupcake, like so. And then, apparently what we're supposed to do is to take this cupcake top, cut it in half. Okay. Like so. And then um, spread the lemon buttercream over the cut surface, which I've done and push the two pieces of the cake into the frosting to form okay. wings. To form wings, all right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, ta-da! 
I did it. <laughs> One of my wings kind of got super crumbly, but you know, I can have a decrepit butterfly. I'm, I'm okay with that. Pretty. Just this little. <laughs> It'll taste fine. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> and yes, you have more variation because you have two tones. I do. I'm really happy with this. They're this pretty. Really <laughs> All right. Well, when you are ready to eat one, I'm. You're ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready, man. I, I will eat my decrepit one. I will try to make a fancy one here, though. <laughs> now, are you eating one of the ones with bacon? No, I'm not going to have one of the ones. Well, I should have one with one with bacon. Where are right. my bacon ones? No, yeah. This is so pretty. Ah, oh, man. It's a, cool idea. it's a very cool idea to put the cake on top. Yeah. I feel like so much of the cupcakes now, especially, are so much icing. <laughs> Yeah. And you have to eat some of the icing before you get to the substance. 100%. I agree with that. Yeah, no, this is great. This gives you almost like a little sandwich. That's what this is. Yeah, it makes like a happy little. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. All right. One. I have some protein on standby. Two. All right. Well, next time add bacon, and then you get your protein in there. <laughs> My wings a little decrepit again. They like to crumble, but there we go. It's gorge. It's gonna gorge. Be okay, shall we? Yeah, we shall. It'll taste fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Bacon chocolate. Bacon chocolate. Oh, this is. This needs like a little champagne and you've got like a perfect summer afternoon. Oh man. Oh good. <laughs> You'll eat all 12 of them. Don't worry. Oh, and you could freeze them. You could probably freeze them. As far as I know, cake stays fine in the freezer. It absolutely does. I'm gonna have to given the temperature of my apartment right now. Um, but oh man. This is light and luscious. It's a very good chocolate cake. Very, very good. And not hard to make whatsoever. You just put everything no, in I, the pan. So. That was super quick. Mm. Oh, from full time. Thank you for doing this with me. This was awesome. Thank, thank you for inviting us to make cupcakes. Like, this is a great idea. I'm so glad. Happy 25 years, my friend. Happy <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think he, he proposed. Did. He proposed when we were in Scotland. Yes. And when I came home on my credit card was a lovely charge for a very, very expensive ring. Very expensive ring. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a $6,000 like $6, ring was on my credit card. <laughs> oh, my God. Cliff had balls. You know, to say it was the the next following year really didn't work out and we didn't plan it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that that was that, that was a good one. Oh my god. <laughs> that is funny. No, it's horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> Oh my gosh. True love when, when someone buys you very expensive things on your own credit card. 